Well, this video is about uh, a six-year-old kid uh, whose father uh, spanks him and uh, sometimes hits him across the face. And, uh, you know, I... I, that was kind of the treatment I got as a kid occasionally. Um, when uh, I would do something that scared my father and he didn't want me to do it anymore. And I was trying to figure out a way to make a video. So I'm making this video about something. And that is, you know, what kind of things do I think, know, have observed um, that helps make successful adults out of our kids. And, uh, you know, what, what really helps and, and, and what slows it down. And I think yelling at kids and getting angry at kids and uh, hitting them and spanking them and whipping them and all that kind of stuff and depriving them of stuff. I think that goes in the wrong direction. And somebody once told me the, the, the people, the group in society that got the most uh, punishment uh, were the people who are, have been to jail. So there's something in me that says, well, that stuff doesn't work. And then I look around at who are the people who are confident and and not driven and, you know, don't care who they hurt as long as they get successful, but the people who are successful because they're good people. And I'm noticing that those people usually come from families where there isn't explosive anger. Uh, and if there is anger, it doesn't come near the family. Um, and it, it was like that there's kindness and humor and curiosity. And people didn't assume that they knew who these kids were that they were bringing up. And, and wanted the kids to have their life. And weren't saying things to them, oh, I want you to be happy. Yeah, which is like a curse to kids, you know. Um, and saying, well, whatever it is that you're going to like doing, uh... I'm behind that. I don't have an agenda for you. And so uh, when I see parents uh, hitting their kids these days, and there's a lot of it, very dear friends of mine are, are uh, occasionally caught up in being real jerks with their kids and hurting their kids physically, and then seeing how the kids are afraid of them and don't trust them and don't tell them the truth because they're afraid that somebody will get angry at them. Um, then I, and, and I watch my friends kind of realize it and then uh, say, okay, I'm gonna be different. I'm gonna make amends by being different. Um, uh, and, and, and saying things like, well, gee, you, uh, you, know, you did something to the kids, you did something that, you know, that worries me because if you do that as an adult, that'll be pretty messy. And, you know, what kind of a parent would I be if I weren't the parent who said to you, hey, if that's not, that's a good thing not to do too at all or too much. Um, you know, and that's a whole different way of bringing up kids. And I think a far more effective way, because I've noticed that people who get beaten a lot or get spanked, they, they tend to think, oh, <clears throat> if I suffer, I'm a weakling. If anybody suffers, they're a weakling. And, you know, we've got this impulse in us where we want to attack weaklings. I, th I think it, it's a very primitive thing, but... I couldn't figure out for a long time why some politicians just didn't care who they hurt. They were going to make sure that these people, you know, uh, who were suffering uh, 
we're, we're going to stop or we're going to pay. So uh, I hope that you can be transparent about your suffering. And like, like that'll help you realize the times when you suffered as a kid, when people were angry at you or they spanked you or they hit you across the face or, you know, I had, I had one teacher, she would grab by the ears and she would literally lift your whole body weight uh, by your ear. And, you know, if you weren't smart enough to push yourself out of the desk, then, you know, it felt like you'd rip your ear off. I can still feel Miss McDermott going at my ear. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I, I hope that whenever you see a kid uh, being beaten, that you take action and say, you know, hey, Mama, you know, don't beat the kid. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm here to ask you on behalf of the kid. Don't do that. It, you may have been beaten when you were a kid, but uh, I know it's not something that pays off. And the final thing was I was really fortunate that uh, <coughs> I was pretty well forced to give some kids the strap when I was a teacher. And I hated it, and I saw how much it didn't work. And then when I got to be a vice principal and a principal, I was part of a campaign where we abolished using physical force uh, to control kids' behavior in school. And some people still did it. But I'm very, that's one of the things I'm very proud of uh, contributing to was that we stopped corporal punishment. You know, before, now it's, it's more and more unpopular, but I know they still do it in some schools. But it, it, is, it is in the wrong direction. It's like showing you that, oh yeah, the guy with the biggest muscles, the biggest guns, the most money, he's going to be powerful and you should listen to him because if you don't, he'll punish you. you That's know, not the way to run a society. So thanks a lot. Make your own videos. Let me know about them and I'll find somebody to stick them up on or a link to them on a website that uh, my friend Ben Gadbaugh is putting together for me. So thanks a lot. I hope you've got enough to keep going. Uh, and just trust that, uh, you know, people will see that you need something and they'll, if they've got enough, they'll give you their extra. That's how I want to live. That's how I'm living. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.